Tactical 40K back at doing some more of these videos. We've got, uh, if you look at the videos that are coming up, I got my Thousand Point Crusade Army because we got a Crusade League that we signed up for. We've got a new shop right down the road that uh, is doing setting up tournaments. So we, we're putting our list together. I have a thousand point list that's done. I've got a 2000 point list that's almost completely done. Uh, I think the next video I'm doing, which should be up here soon, because I'm gonna do it fast. I couldn't hold off on remaking my Impulsor into a Gladiator um, battle tank. I'll tell you what variant I did next uh, in the subsequent video. But anyway, I did it. I was going to do a whole video step by step, but I just couldn't help it. But I couldn't do a video at the time, but I, it was just staring at me in the eye when, or every time I walked by the package. So finally, I just built it and I'll show you, but I'll show you some things about it if you do it. It's a spiky bits, whatever conversion kit. So if you have an impulsor laying around and you want to make it into a tank, you can do it for you know, not that much. Um, but here we're talking about Raven Guard because <clears throat> this is mainly a Raven Guard channel. Like I said, it's kind of half military tactics or tactics military tactics utilizing 40k and then we're beaky boys man we're raven guard raven guard sounds like they're going to get some action here uh and subsequent lore coming up through games workshop with uh whether that be from what they kind of alluded to in various little articles and then the diorama at the warhammer fest but but here's why i'm doing this video is because i haven't seen anybody mention this at all when it comes to Raven Guard. And the reason I believe that we're actually might be getting something here in the new codex. <clears throat> when the Space Marines codex come out, uh, comes out later on this fall, that we might get an at attachment that, uh, or I mean, everybody can use the attachment, but it's gonna be, the detachment's going to be based on the Raven Guard and it's gonna be our detachment essentially. Um, if you're a Raven Guard player, this is what you, to stay fluffy, this is what you're gonna play. Now, do I know what that's in that detachment? Not, no, obviously I don't. I don't have any, any other knowledge outside of what everybody else has. But here is what was written in the rules commentary that gives me a little bit of situational awareness that this might be coming down the pike line. Not only because we're seeing Raven Guard now playing a key role in the lore that's coming up against the Tyranids and Games Workshop's actually talking about them a little bit more. But this, let me read this. Um, so if you go into the your rules commentary um, PDF, so if you have that thing that you downloaded or whatever, and it's a duplicate core rule abilities underneath that section. So if you, I mean, I don't know if anybody's read that or they might've just read over it and they glossed over it and they didn't really pay too much attention to it because it's 40K, there's rules all over the place. <clears throat> but you go to example one. Let me just read this and let, to see if light bulbs click for you guys here as it did for me when I read this. A player's army, so example one for this duplicate rules thing, it says a player's army includes a unit of eliminators, which we know those are the snipey guys, those are our snipers, who have, excuse me, um, have stealth ability. The player selected a detachment ability that says all units from your army gain the stealth ability. Huh? I haven't seen I so after I read this I went and looked up whatever uh, I looked at the gladius thing or our Gla the gladius task force because that's what we're kind of utilized now I looked at death watch I looked at um black templars and I was like trying to find this okay I don't really see it anyway so is this a detachment that hasn't been presented to us yet I think it is um and that would be the st stealth ability so that's based off the rig I think that's what's coming so anyway, uh, yeah, the eliminators do not gain the additional benefit if you're curious about what else it said. I don't really care what, about what else it said. I mean, yeah, I do for the rules, but that for what the future of the Raven Guard and what we could be having, we could be getting either dropped on us through releases or through the Space Marine Codex. Let's read that again. So um, a player's army includes eliminators who have stealth ability. So any unit that you have uh, that has some kind of stealth uh, keyword to it, or ability that player selected a detachment ability that says so uh, you're selecting an attachment ability all units from your army gain stealth ability and where is that it's not we don't have one yet so to me that leads me to believe that that's coming down the pike that is in the chamber it's getting ready to be shot off to us and 
that's going to be the Raven Guard unit and uh, or the Raven Guard detachment where you can everybody has stealth which would go a little bit better with Raven Guard lore and I'd be interested to see what these because you're selecting all uh, selecting a detachment ability so to me when I'm reading that it's okay there's a detachment and there's the bill an ability within that uh, detachment of stealth for everybody but there might be other abilities but anyway those are my thoughts it's a quick video on that so if you want to go look at that yourself um and then keep an eye out because i think that's what's going to happen and i was like man that would be at least fluffy it would help out a little bit for the army as well but since we're going up against a lot of shoot it's a lot of shooting it seems like in this edition um so i don't know just keep an eye that's raven guard uh future hopefully anyway I'll talk to you later. Check out what's coming up next. I'm going to do that uh, gladiator tank conversion, impulsor to gladiator, um, whatever, conversion video next. And kind of, there's a couple things you need to know about that if you get that from Spiky Bits because, or granted, maybe I'm just stupid. I already had my impulsor built. So I was like, man, this, at first I was like, this doesn't fit. And then I figured it out. But anyway, so we'll go over some of that. And it actually looks pretty cool. Anyway, talk to you later. Peace.